Okay, so this is the collective. We're going into your internal world. We're looking beyond the eyes. So this is my face that you can see. This is the light. We took the knowledge of light. We took the knowledge of colors. We took the knowledge of depth, of darkness. We took the knowledge of emotions, of love, of action. We took the knowledge and we burst forth we're taking our internal world and we're making it into something new. Our creation, we're able to view our creation through a lens of light and dark. Do you see the light, our knowledge of light and our knowledge of darkness? We're now able to internally so this would be our external view. This is our internal view. So this is what I'm seeing external to me, but this is what I'm seeing internal to me. So if my eyes were like this, this is the internal world. So you're taking these creations from your internal world and you're, it's coming out at a central point and then it's looping around and it's looping through. So this is darkness. This is as dark as dark gets. This is as black as black gets. This is it. This is that realm of darkness. This is the realm of light. This is your internal world. This is your external world. So on me, this is the, so it's like a mirror. It's like a mirror. So here, this is my, external world this is the world of light and then that's what i can see so it's like doing this so we're looking with our third eye inside this is white this is black and we're we're taking our consciousness of the duality and we're expressing it through our internal world as well as our external world. So we're creating something through our external world because we have first envisioned it in our internal world. And we're really sad. There's sadness in our internal world because we're looking at what we no longer have. There's a lot of light here. It was very beautiful, but things come out in the reverse and then it has to go through our, the black circle in our eye and then it makes a figure eight so we see everything reversed and we're sad about that but in our internal world we're taking this we're taking this loss this grief and we're making it into something beautiful we have this promise from the the light from the knowledge, the consciousness of the light and of the colors. We have this knowledge that this is good. This is our pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. We know that this is going to get us to the next level spiritually. This is our spirituality and it's covering up this darkness that we hold within ourselves. It's not a matter of containing your emotions. Rather, the opposite's required. You must express your emotions in order to heal them. You have to feel in order to heal. You have to feel pain before you can have the consciousness of pain. Say what you feel, be gentle, be truthful, and do not blame anyone in the process, especially yourself. All emotions can be transformed by love.
a conscious desire to do this is all it takes. It's okay to feel the way that you do. Your feelings are validated. How you feel inside is how you are supposed to feel. Because you have to have that knowledge of the dark emotions in order to have knowledge of the light happy emotions. You have to know what it is to lose in order to appreciate what you still have. Because if you focus on this grief inside of your heart, everything that you've lost, if you sit there and focus your spirit, your internal world on what all you've lost, you can't appreciate what's there because you don't have that knowledge you can't know what you don't know you don't have that consciousness yet but once you have the consciousness of this loss you could be like hey i still have something over here and then you can love that with your whole heart and use it use it to make something new so this is the divine realm of darkness your internal world and you're taking this knowledge from the central point of your internal creativity and you're bursting forth with this knowledge of the divine realm of bright light this central hole with the knowledge and the consciousness of colors and matter you're taking this and you're learning about your emotions and how to internally process them within your heart and how to make something that's so ugly into something so beautiful you're making something you're creating something because of this because you're you're taking both light and dark and you're bringing it into a place where you can view it on the external world beyond the world of light is a world there's an inner light that always shines bright close your eyes Feel the rainbow, the rainbow of love surrounding your entire body. Close your eyes and feel heaven and earth combining. The violet flame, it supports you. The white light from the cosmos <coughs> is coming down and they're mixing together and you're supported by the promise of the spectrum of colors, the spectrum of diversity, where you first branched out, you're safe. You're safe to bring your ideas into manifestation. Your internal world is safe and you're being guided by your spirits to take this internal world and spiritually materialize it into the physical realm. And here's your promise that land will be created through sea, through earth, through water, through fire, through, through action, through air. We're going to make these layers, this divine realm of manifestation. There has to be the storm in order to bring the water onto the earth, in order to get the growth needed to move forward. There has to be this action that takes place, this storm, these emotions that are laid upon this foundation. There has to be some change in order to manifest something so beautiful. Unbound, 
releasing soul patterns, contracts, and past lives. You're in this murky area, this space in between the light and the dark. The space where the secrets lie. Pisces holds the secrets. There's Tinkerbell. And here you are, Peter Pan. And you're saying, I don't want to grow up. And Tinkerbell says, I'll take you away to Never Never Land. A land where you never grow up where you never mature, where you're just conscious of paradise, of happiness. So you can't appreciate anything else because you don't have that contrast, that contrast of darkness. You needed that contrast of darkness in order to experience life to its fullest. You had to eat the apple and then you, you saw that there was a pot of gold at the end of the rainbow, but it came with a lot of challenges. You had to learn how to battle the dragon, how to go into the cave. You had to learn how to get into your subconscious mind, past the murky area of the darkness from the divine realm of light in your heart. You had to learn how to take this storm, this challenge of a storm, take it and manifest something with it. The waters of life. You're learning how to take the sun that rises and mix it with the colors and the waters of life and transmute it from the central point from inside to the external world where you can see it see your manifest manifestation fully develop into something beautiful you have to embrace the storm clouds within